The work has been tested by they will escape. But there were those who will not escape. Those are the scribes. Not even reaching the level of Apollos. They won't escape. They can go now. Simply from touching what is anointed in Romana. Are we going somewhere? Are we going somewhere? Do not touch the anointed. The anointed is not just anointed. The anointed, the Messiah, carrying the Christ. You can't crucify Christ again and again. Okay. Are we going somewhere? So there's after the cross and there's before. Before the cross, they all had abilities. And that's why they were already healing the sick. They were already casting out demons. They were already prophesying. But look at it Jesus says to them, the devil has been looking to sift all of you, especially you, Peter. But the only thing that will keep you, I prayed for you. So that when you fall, you'll rise again and strengthen others. You can't strengthen others without the spirit that strengthens. I can do all things through Christ. So Jesus was talking about the Messiah, the Christ. Because at that moment, Peter was already healing the sick. He was already prophesying. He was already casting out demons. But Jesus said, I prayed for you. So that even when you fall, you will rise again. And strengthen others. So Philippians said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So that's why you see what the Apostle Paul would do. Wherever he goes, he would strengthen the brothers. He would strengthen them. That's the seed that was working through him. <laughs> Strengthening them. Supporting them. Do we love Jesus Christ? Yes. Say love with Jesus. Yes. Say love with Jesus. Yes. Let's go. For I want you to know how great is my solicitude. For you, how severe and in want struggle. I am engaged in for you and for, for you and for and for those believers at Ladosia. At Ladosia, uh huh. And for all who, like yourselves, have never seen my face and known me personally. Uh huh. For my concern is that their hearts may be braced. May my be concern is that for their hearts may be braced. Uh huh. May be comforted. Comforted. May be cheered. May be cheered. And may be encouraged. May be encouraged. Uh huh. As they are knit together in love. As they are knit together in love. Oneness. Uh -huh. That they may come to have all the abounding wealth and blessings of a short conviction of understanding. And that they may become progressively, become progressively for more intimately acquainted with and may know more definitely and accurately and thoroughly that mystic secret of God. They should know thoroughly and quickly. They need to know that mystic secret of God. What is the mystic secret of God? Go on. Which is Christ, the anointed one. Which is Christ, the anointed, the anointed one. one. That they may need to. So the concern of the Apostle Paul was for, for people to get to know adequately that mystic secret of God, the Christ. And doesn't it say Apollos knew? About Jesus? Huh? But it was not the Christ. Listen. Don't come with me. Stay there. Sign up with Jesus. Listen, I'm reading Acts 18. Now listen to this. Meanwhile, a Jew named Apollos, I'm studying from verse 24. And meanwhile, meanwhile, Acts 18 from verse 34. 24. Verse 24. Acts 18. Meanwhile, a Jew named Apollos a native of Alexandria, came to Ephesus. He was a learned man with a thorough knowledge of the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord. He spoke with great fervor and taught about Jesus accurately, though he knew only baptism of John. He never knew the Christ. So you can't teach about Jesus and make baptism, the baptism of John the same name of Jesus. The same name of Jesus, that mystic secret of God. The Christ, the Messiah. So what happens here? Now listen, you only knew the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue when Priscilla and Aquila heard, of, heard him. They invited him to their home and explained to him 
the way of God more adequately, it means knowing Jesus accurately was not enough. So now you must come to know that mystic secret of God who is Christ, the Messiah. So there are many who display gifts and never reveal the Christ. And when you reveal the Christ, it needs boldness. It needs boldness. How many times pray for me so that I might preach this boldly? So that I preach the mysteries. Pray for me so that God can open the door into the mystery. That's the Christ. That's the Christ. Are we learning something? Are we learning something? Because many people, can you imagine go, spending your time in Bible school, knowing the syllabus about finances, about marriage, about baptism, but the Christ, one part missed. Missed. Knowing thoroughly everything. You can hear how they explain Apollos Day. Well, in it. Knowing Jesus accurately. So Priscilla and Aquila had to take him and say, come to your house. Now they had to reveal and explain to him the way of God more adequately. When Apollos wanted to go to Achaia, the brothers and sisters encouraged him and wrote to the disciples there to welcome him. Now welcome him. He's preaching the Christ. Welcome him. When he arrived, he was of great help to those who by grace had believed. For he vigorously, now he's excited, he vigorously refuted his Jewish opponents in public debate, pro proving from the scriptures that Jesus is the Messiah. He knew scriptures, but he couldn't find the Messiah in the scriptures he knew. But now after meeting Priscilla and Aquila, they explained the more accurate way. Now he can speak about the Messiah. So he went to Ephesus. He watered. There was no seat. There was no seat. The Apostle Paul says, now chapter 19, he went to Ephesus. He planted the seed. Apollos watered. God causes growth. So understand such benefits. Understand what he was teaching them. The issue in chapter 2, Colossians, is to get to know Christ. Because people knew Jesus, but they never knew the Christ. Christ is demonstrated. Christ is revealed. Christ is demonstrated. Read. Repeat that part and go on. For my concern is that their hearts may be braced. For the concern is that their hearts may be braced. May be comforted. May be comforted. May be cheered. May be cheered. And may be encouraged. May be encouraged. As they are knit together in love. As they are knit together in love. Uh -huh. That they may come to have all the abounding wealth. And that they may come to have what? All the abounding. You see, it's the benefits of knowing the Christ. First Corinthians chapter 1 from verse 4 as well. To abound in all speech. Are we clear? Are we clear? To have all the riches. So if you depend on gifts, you'll have gifts. But if you depend on the Christ, you have all the riches. Treasure. Let's go. That they may come to have all the abounding wealth and blessings of a short Conviction. The blessings of a short conviction. Uh -huh. Of understanding. Of understanding. Uh -huh. And that they may become progressively. And they become progressively. They become more intimately. Become, among, become more intimately. Uh -huh. And acquainted with. And acquainted with. And may know more definitely and accurately and thoroughly that mystic secret of God. Know thoroughly that mystic secret of God. Uh -huh. Which is Christ. Which is Christ. The anointed one. The anointed one. Are we learning something? So that's what we need to know. Galatians 4. Oh, how I travel in pains of childbirth until Christ 
is formed in you. Those people are only zealous to, they only want to alienate you. They only want you to have their mark. Galatians 6, but be what you do to me. Be careful what you do to me. I bear on my body the marks of Jesus Christ. The marks of who? Now, let's finish with Romans chapter 6, verse 2. I believe you, somebody learned from this, no? Somebody learned from this, no? Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. I mean, with the Christ, you call him a Satanist. You call him a Satanist. You call us Illuminati. I don't even know what Illuminati is. I never visited him. I don't even know. You call them names. But can you ever cast it out? What you call to prove that you carry the cast, come and deal with it. Don't talk too much on TV, on talk shows. Talking too much. Reveal the Christ. 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 Reveal the the Christ. Let's go. For he will render to every man according to his works. He will render to every man according to his works. According to his works. Justly as he deserves. Deserve. deserve. Uh -huh. Justly as he deserves. Uh -huh. To those who by patient persistence uh -huh. in well doing are springing from pity. Uh -huh. A sick and sin, but sure, glory and honor and the internal blessedness of immortality. He will give eternal life. He will give eternal life. Blessedness of eternal. Are we going somewhere? Are we going somewhere? What, what's that? That's what does not die. This is what does not. What does not. What does not. What does not die. Say love you, Jesus. Say love you, Jesus. Listen to this. By no means, I read Romans 6 from verse 2. By no means, I'm using NIV. By no means, we are those who have died to sin. How can we live in it any longer? Or don't you know that all of us who were baptized were baptized in to Christ Jesus. We're baptized into his death. We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. So even us a new life is after the cross. It's not before. A new life is after the cross. The Christ life. So creation has been waiting for sons of glory to be manifested. So sons of glory are exactly like Christ. Two oh, few images. You cannot be like him. You cannot be like God. Why did he say let's make men in our image? Why did he say let's make men in our image? So like him. Live like that. Go and read the Bible and find out, ah, this is what is happening with this church. Don't read and let it be a story read like an old woman reading to someone. This was supposed to happen. Zilani, Wanaka, Pamforosi. The fact is, are you living that life? Is it happening? As you read, find your life in the word of God. As you read, find your life. Ah, this is what is happening. This is what is happening. People stand and arrange. Let's do this. How can we fight this? How can we do this? Stop talking too much. Come. I invite you. 
Come and sit. I'll give you front seats. I'll give you front seats. Front seats. I'll make you sit at the front. Front. I'll honor you. And I'll also honor you with the anointing. Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love Jesus Christ? But, but we understand this, ne? We understand this, ne? So we need to get this, understand what is happening. A new life is after the cross. It's the life that we live with Christ in the spirit. That's the life that we live with him. With him. Do we love Jesus Christ? I bear on my body the marks of Christ Jesus. Are we clear? The marks of Christ Jesus. It's not my mark. I was beaten 40 stripes minus one. So if I was beaten 40 stripes minus one, the Christ is one. So 40 stripes minus one is equal to 39. Genesis up to Malachi. But when you go to the New Testament, we can't count how many. It's one. 40 minus one. So if I carry one, I carry a seed. Not many seeds, but one. Are we clear? But one. So I was beaten 40 minus one. So this one is one. One cannot be separated. It's not many seeds. It's a seed. Christ. So as we are here, all of us, we are here to be equipped, to be loved, to be trained, but to be given a seed. Christ himself. Not any other, but Christ himself. So there are many apologists who have not yet named, known the way, the Christ himself. They only know Jesus, accurately so. But the Messiah is not revealed. And you must check what was happening there. Most of the people, when they talk about it, the Messiah, the Messiah, the Messiah has come. The Messiah. Who? The? The Who? The? The Messiah. Do we love Jesus Christ? The who? The Messiah. So if the Messiah has come, people must receive life. Say love you, Jesus. What did Peter say in Matthew 16? You are the Christ, meaning you are the Messiah, son of the living God. You are Jesus. He already knows that Jesus is here. But why did he say you are the Messiah? I mean, everybody, if Jesus says, who do you think am I? They would have just said Jesus. Meaning he moves them to another level. He pushes them further. Do you know me as the Christ? So knowing him as the Christ, it's not a learning from Bible school. It's when the Father reveals, not flesh and blood. So if you preach like Apollos, flesh and blood reveals. Flesh and blood reveals. But if you preach like the Apostle Paul, the Father in heaven reveals. Are we clear? So who do you think am I? Everybody could have said, ah, but don't play with us. You are Jesus. We've been calling you Jesus. Because they're pushed on a level. Some said Elijah. Some said Moses. Some said who? But when the Father reveals, this is the man, the Messiah. Say love with Jesus. Say love with Jesus. Say I'm blessed above all. Is it clear to everyone? Is it clear to everyone? Say, I love my Father. Say, I love you, my Lord. Say, I love you, my Lord. Go to Mac 1. Just read verse 1. The beginning of the facts of the good news the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of who? Of who? Uh-huh. Just as it is written in the prophet Isaiah, Behold, I sent my messenger before your face, uh -huh. who will make ready your way. Uh -huh. A voice of one crying in the wilderness, a shouting in the desert. Who's that? John. Uh -huh. 
Prepare the way of the Lord. Make his beaten track straight or level and possible. John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness, preaching a baptism, obligating repentance, change of one's mind for the better, mm -hmm. heartily amending one's ways with abhorrence of his past sins. In with abhorrence of his past sins in? In order to obtain forgiveness uh -huh. of and release from sins. Uh -huh. And they kept going out to him continuously all the country of Judea mm. and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And they were baptized by him in the river Jordan. In the river Jordan. Uh -huh. Do you think they, they are close to Christ? They still needed the Christ. Let's go. As they were confessing their sins, and John wore clothing woven of camels, hair and had a leather a girdle around his loins and ate locusts and wild honey move move and he preached he preached saying saying after me after me comes he who is stronger you see you are baptized your sins are forgiven but you are not stronger stronger meaning strength i can do all things through the one who strengthens me through christ are we learning it now no? i just want to make it clear to everyone just to make it clear after me comes the one who is stronger, mightier. So the mightier when he comes, we can do all things through him who strengthens us. So if I'm weak and I call, pleading with him three, three times, he says my grace is sufficient, then God's strength is made perfect in my weaknesses. So God's strength, strength. What is the strength? The Christ. Are we clear? The, the Christ. So when we speak about power, we speak about such. Are we clear? Say love with Jesus. We speak about such. Go to John 4, 45. Say love with Jesus. Say love with Jesus. John 4, 25. 25. Start from verse 23. A time will come, however, indeed, it is already here. Yeah. When the true, when the genuine worshippers uh -huh. will worship the Father in spirit and in truth, uh -huh. in reality. In reality. You must get it. In reality. In spirit and in truth, in reality. This reality is not. It's in Christ. It's in Christ. Let's go. For the Father is seeking just such people as this. That's what the Father is looking for. People who are in Christ. People carrying the Messiah. God is looking for such. God is not looking for anything but for those who carry the Messiah. Is it clear now? Let's go. For the Father is seeking just such people. The Father is seeking just such people. So we don't just read the Father is seeking worshippers who worship me in spirit. Where? It means the Messiah in Christ. Let's go. As this as his worshippers. Uh -huh. God is a spirit. God is a spirit. A spiritual being. A spiritual being. And those who worship him. Those who worship him. Must worship him. In spirit and in truth. Uh -huh. In reality. In truth. In spirit. In Christ. In the Messiah. Spirit. In Christ. The words I'm speaking to you. They are spirit and life. They are spirit. The Christ. Let's go. The woman said to him. Uh -huh. I know that the Messiah is coming. Ah, why when you explain this, this woman enters the Messiah? She understands that worshiping in spirit is to worship in Christ, in the Messiah. In the, why is she? She understands that I know that when the Messiah comes, she understands what God is looking for. Worship at in Christ. Let's go. The woman said to him, I know that the Messiah is coming. Yes. He who is called the Christ. Yes. He who is called who? The Christ. The Christ. Uh -huh. The anointed one. The anointed one. And when he arrives. When he arrives. He will tell us everything. He will tell us everything. So benefits, all speech, all knowledge, all benefits of the Messiah, of the Christ. Knowing everything so I can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So we know that from Christ there are benefits. 
So we do not forsake all these benefits, opportunities, especially salvation. So when the Christ comes, so this woman understands that when the Christ comes, when the Messiah comes, he will tell us all things. So there are benefits, all things. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So she understands that when it's in spirit and in truth, those who are in spirit, they can tell all things. They can tell all things. So let us come to know this mystic secret of God. Who is that? Christ, the Messiah. So we need to know and understand this. This is where God is leading us. And you will see how people will try to persecute now. Because who are we revealing? The Christ. When the Christ comes, will you not do more miracles or signs and wonders than this man? So it means they knew. It means they, they knew. Are we learning something? They knew that when he comes, he will show more than this. So let's move away from the gift. In the name of Jesus. But let's go to the Christ. When you come to the Christ, even though you don't call the name Jesus, but things just happen because you can do all things. Are we clear? Are we clear? Did you understand it? Repeat that part. Everybody must hear and listen. Repeat. The woman said to him, Yes. I know that the Messiah is coming. I know that the Messiah is coming. And he who is called the Christ. He who is called who? The the Christ. Christ. Uh The anointed one. The anointed one. And when he arrives. When he arrives. He will tell us everything we need to know. He will tell us everything we need to know. And make it clear to us. And make it clear to us. You understand? With the Messiah, with the Christ, there are benefits. All speech. Knowing everything. I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Go to John 1. I want 41, but start from verse 40. Start from verse 39. He said to them, come and see. Come and see. So they went and saw where he was staying. Ah. Uh-huh. And they remained with him that day. Ah. Uh-huh. And it was then about the tenth hour. Yes. About four o'clock in the afternoon. About four in the afternoon. Uh huh. One of the two who had what John said and followed Jesus was Andrew, uh-huh. a Simon Peter's brother. But what, what causes this to happen? John says, Look, there's the Messiah. There's Jesus. His disciples say, They go, they follow him, they sleep as he sleeps. And John hurriedly agari. Where are you going? They followed him. Let's go. He first sought out and found his own brother, Simon. Yes. And said to him, we have found, we have discovered the Messiah. Did he say Jesus? We have found the Messiah. Uh Uh-huh. Which translated is the Christ, the anointed one. The Christ, the anointed one. So not to many seed, but to one seed, which is? Who is? Christ, the Messiah. We have found the seed. Ah, I don't know if somebody can say. We have found a seed. Now this seed will crush the serpent's head. Now, who can come against this seed? So we have found the seed. Come and see the seed. We have found what? The seed. There are those who found Jesus. And there are those who find the seed. The Messiah. Those who found Jesus shall be like Apollos before he met Priscilla and Aquila. But there are those who find the seed. So the Apostle Paul came, Acts chapter 19. I carry a seed. Did you receive the Holy Spirit? when you believe in Jesus as the seed. They say, we know nothing of the Holy Spirit. We don't know anything. So there are people who know nothing. It's time to move with the Christ, the Spirit from above. 
Once we move with such, we have all knowledge, all power, all glory. Amen. Ephesians 1, he is all in all. If he is all, all lives in you, then you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. He is all in you. Completeness of perfectionality. So God's intention was to develop the church so that we can all reach nothing less than the standard height. Nothing less, nothing less than the standard height of Christ's own perfection. So that we should not be like children tossed back and forth by ways of teaching because the main thing is to win you over. So this is what we have to preach today. Let people be given a seat. Let people be given the Christ. When the Christ comes, he will tell us all things. So I love the teaching of that man, but the things he does. So you love all things, but when they are manifested, you don't love them. You can be taught, but manifestations must also be seen. Do we love Jesus Christ? The manifestations must be revealed. Go on. Andrew then led. He brought Simon to Jesus. Uh -huh. Jesus looked at him and said, You will be called. You are Simon. You will be called who? Read. You are Simon, son of John. You shall be called a Kephas, You'll which translated called. is Peter. You will be called Peter. So that time is coming. Wait, it's coming. You'll be called Peter. Right now, the Father is not yet revealed. I don't know if somebody gets this. Amen. Who do you think am I? Everybody knows Jesus. Here comes Simon. You are the Christ. You are the Messiah. Son of the living God. And now it's happening. Jesus saying, flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but the Father. Where the Christ is, the Father also reveals. Now, I no longer call you slaves. I now call you friends because I show you everything in my Father's presence. When the Father reveals, if I directly receive this from the Lord himself, the Father reveals not flesh and blood. The Christ lives in you. The Christ. I greet all the Christ. I greet all the Christ. The seed. Are we clear? The seed. To God be the glory. Listen to this. Understand the way God is leading us now. There are people who don't want to hear anything about the Christ. Because the Christ comes with manifestations. This woman is saying, when Christ, when the Messiah comes, he will tell us all things. She understands that worshiping the Father in spirit and in truth is worshiping in Christ. Because your new life is hidden with Christ in God. That's worshiping the Father in spirit and in truth. So worshiping in spirit and in truth is not because you can close your eyes and be serious. It can be in Christ. Everything you do being a form of worship because you can do all things through Christ. All things done through Christ is a form of worship. All things done through Christ is a form of, of worship. Is a form of worship. So it's not worship to do things without the Christ. It's not worship. Who do you think am I? They know Jesus. Everyone could have said, Jesus, we know you. They knew the name Jesus. But the Christ was not known. Until Peter said, you are the Christ, son of the living God. Are we clear? Let's worship him in Christ. Romans 8 from verse 1. Therefore, there is now no condemnation to those who are in Christ, the Messiah. No one can condemn you. No one can. No one can condemn you. Do we love our Father? Do we love our Father? So, many struggle with the Christ issue. And with the Christ issue, Christ performs. Christ reveals himself. Christ shows himself. We're living a new life. 
he shows himself without choice. Without choice. Because it's in the newness of life. In the newness of life, you don't operate as flesh. You operate as the spirit. Because true worshipers worship the Father in spirit. When you move, it's spirit. When you speak, it's spirit. When you do, it's spirit. The Christ. So he's here to raise us up. Let us hold on to the truth. Let us move with the truth. Some people are too late. It's too late. This seed is all over. This seed is out of the country. This seed is everywhere. This seed is already in their churches. This seed is also drawn from the churches. Why? Because God cannot allow his own to be destroyed in a religious sect. Do we love our Father? Do we love our Father? He knows those who are his. He'll go and collect them. He'll collect those who are his. It doesn't matter where they are. Man belongs to no man. You belong to God. <laughs> belongs to who? To God. To who? To God. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Forget about your neighbor. Let us have communication with the Christ. I'd like you to speak to him. Romance him. Kiss him. It says, kiss the son lest he becomes angry. It says, kiss him. Speak to one another with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Greet one another with a holy kiss. So come before him with purity. Speak to him. Forget about your neighbor. Those who are watching by the telecast, begin to speak to him. Begin to speak. Forget about your neighbor. Have fellowship with the mystery. Speak to him. Have fellowship with the Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Every time of your life, spend your life calling the Christ. Let the mystery be revealed unto you. Are we clear? Allow persecution to happen in your life so that you can have an opportunity to call, to plead, so that this strength can be made perfect in you. The Christ can completely live in you. So, just make use of that opportunity. To me, it's an opportunity to be crucified, to be persecuted. It's an opportunity. Because of what you see today, it's because of what people have been saying, doing, planning, and everything. So if we say that man is really used by God, some of the things, we did not go to any man to pray for us, to anoint us. It's because when we are weak, they made us weak so that God's strength can come upon us and anoint us with such strength, the Christ. So let's do it. Go for it. Know that sometimes you don't need anyone to lay their hand on you. You have to be passed in the state of witness because if he says, if you have to share in his glory, you also have to share in his sufferings. So once you share in the sufferings, the glory should be, the glory will be revealed unto you. So if you don't know Jesus Christ as a Lord and Savior, those are watching about the telecast, if you don't know Jesus Christ as a Lord and Savior, Jesus says we must be born again. A man who's born again, he's like the wind. Just get the form of Christ there. He's like the wind. No one knows where he comes from. No one knows where he's going. You're born of water and spirit. Therefore, you're born of God. God cannot give birth to flesh. He gives birth to the spirit. Spirit gives birth to spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh. So God is giving birth to spirit now as we speak. So if you don't know Jesus Christ as a Savior, 
follow me with this prayer together with everyone in this house. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I humble myself. I'm a sinner. Watch me with the precious blood. Today, I believe in your name, the name Christ Jesus. You are my Lord. You're my Savior. Wash me with the precious blood and I'll be whiter than snow. I thank you, Lord, for raising me up, taking me out of dusty ashes, giving me beauty from above. I believe today that you rose from the dead and you gave me life in Jesus' name. Amen. You're no longer a sinner. You are blessed. God is with you. God is with you. Say love with Jesus. Say love with Jesus. So I'm going to minister right now. Just believe. Receive from the seed. Are we clear? Receive from the seed. Let us meditate upon these teachings. Let God be the one to develop you. Are we clear? Are we clear? With a gift, you can take those flowers and give to people. They can die. But with the Christ, Christ changes anything into what is good. You eat and become alive. Are we going somewhere? Are we going somewhere? Jesus revealed his glory in John chapter 2. I'm, I'm trying to show you this now so that you can understand. Jesus revealed his glory. I want you to meditate on this teaching. Jesus revealed his glory. They were suffering to know whether he's the Christ. By revealing the Christ, you're revealing your glory. So, at the wedding at Cana, he was revealing his glory. You must read it correctly. That's, those are the first miracles that is to reveal his glory. So, this was not revealed to you by flesh. People don't understand. By turning water into wine, he was revealing the Christ. Revealing the glory. If you are to share in his glory, you also have to share in his sufferings. So you share in the sufferings, you share in his glory. Now you reveal your glory. I will need something. You reveal your? So Jesus had to reveal. It means he, the glory was not revealed. They know more about Jesus. But the Christ, when he comes, he performs more miracles. Therefore, he turned water into one to reveal his glory, to reveal the Christ. So once you have the glory, you have the Christ. Are we learning this? He did that to reveal his glory. So Jesus revealing his There are people who you can see until they reveal their glory. That's when you can associate them with the one from above. He revealed his glory. So by revealing his glory, this is not revealed by flesh and blood. Water cannot turn into wine. So the glory that you carry you will reveal it. Are we clear? Because Christ is that mystic secret of God. So I will show you great and mighty works. So as you carry the mystery, you'll reveal it. You show your glory. You show what you truly carry. Are we learning it? You show your? You reveal your? Who do you think am I? This was not revealed to you by flesh and, and blood. So the wedding at Cana, when he turned water into wine, he was revealing his glory, that he is the Christ. He is the, the Christ. So that's why I'm saying others could be crucified if they carried the Christ. But they didn't carry the Christ. It was just in the name of Jesus, healing, deliverance, prophecy. But the Messiah, it's the revelation of his glory. It's the revelation of his, of his glory, revealing his glory. So he says, who do you think am I? Moses, Elijah. Don't quote that name. He's Christ, the Messiah, the glory of the Father. The glory of the, of the, of the Father. So what I'm saying to all of us, go out, all men and women of God, go reveal your glory as you carry the seed. 
as you carry the seed, go reveal what? The glory. I want you to get the vision that God gave me about sons. I want us to understand it. And he began to show me how they are wrongly connected to others. And he showed me how they are so backwards. They are five, ten years backwards. They are there behind. The son does what the father is doing. At this point in time, we ought to be the same. So be careful of those mutilations of the flesh. Their only thing is to win you over and have their mark. But let's focus on Christ. If you focus on Christ, you have the mark of Christ on you. Are you clear? You have the mark of who? Of Christ. If you carry such mark, you are a friend of God. Everything you see and hear, you do it because you see them in your Father's presence. Do we love Jesus Christ? So I'm going to minister, just believe you are receiving from the seed. Are we clear? You are receiving from there? From there? From the seed. Are we clear? Say love with Jesus. Say love with Jesus. Say love with Jesus. Say I'm blessed above all. So the hand of the Lord is upon all of you. Are we clear? Let the Christ be the theme of the day in your life. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So living the life after the cross is important because it's in the newness of life. You are being crucified with him, buried with him, and co-raised with him. You are seated with him on the right hand of God. You must hear what Romans 6 says, hear what Ephesians says. I mean, I mean, when Jesus comes, you will be, you will be. But when the Apostle Paul comes, we are being raised. I don't know if somebody gets this. We are being raised. We are blessed above all. Blessed be the God, the Father of Lord Jesus Christ, who blessed us. The thing is, people don't get what, I'm, what we are saying now. Blessed be the God, the Father of Lord Jesus, who blessed us with all spiritual blessings. Some postpone them because of the mind. That's why we have to take captive every thought that set itself against God and make it obedient to God. Remove your thoughts. He said you are Peter, but not long Satan behind me. Why? He said because your thoughts are not from above. Colossians 3 that we read, it says, set your mind on things that are from above where Christ is seated on the right hand of God. Instead of Peter setting his mind on things. So it's only because of the mind that you can go down again. Because of the mind, you can go down. So Satan behind me, it's because your thoughts are not from above. Your thoughts are from below. So let your thoughts be from above. Are we clear? Have you ever seen people accusing you? You'll kill people, but they never die. And you are treated as a criminal. You are treated as somebody who's killed people, but they never died. But things that kick people here, yeah, they legalize them, the darkness and everything. So you can smoke it. You can go, go smoke it. Come, we'll deal with addiction. We'll have more work to do. Are we going somewhere? Yes. Do we love Jesus Christ? Yes. Say love with Jesus. Yes. Say love with Jesus. I love you, Jesus. It's good to legalize it when it's done for the right purpose, not smoking. Yeah. For medicine. You understand? Then I'm going to find this or why legalize it. Celebrate Jesus. Say I'm blessed above all. Say I'm blessed above all. Say I'm truly blessed from above. So just believe what you received today. You received a portion from above, which is the seed, Christ himself. Amen. The seed, Christ, 
himself, the immortal spirit, the spirit that does not die. Amen. Amen. People look at me funny when I say, Jesus, before the age of 30, he could not heal the sick, he could not prophesy, he was not preaching, he could not do any of those. He started doing it at the age of 30, after he met with John the Baptist. That's the moment he became the Christ. Before the age of 30, there was no Christ. He depended on Joseph to save him from being killed. Joseph had to pick him up and run away with him because he could die. But when the Christ comes, you understand? When the Christ comes, he's the son of the living God. This is my son now. No longer the son of Mary, son of Joseph, but the son of God. Hallelujah. So you have the spirit in you crying, Abba, Father, meaning your real, your real father. So if your real father is revealed, flesh and blood does no longer reveal to you. But the father in heaven reveals. So I love you, Jesus. So I'm blessed above all. So as we minister, just believe. Those who came for confessions, let your confession become real. Let your confession be the one that is from God. Are we clear? From God, you speak the truth. From the devil, you speak a lie. If you don't confess the truth, you make God to be a liar. So it's like seven demons come back. Seven times they come back to you. The present condition of that man becomes worse than before. So if you don't speak the truth, you make God to be a liar. So you get more trouble. But now speak the truth. Let it be people who are ready to confess speaking the truth so that it can be helped. Because some people come to confess because they saw people giving testimonies because of their confessions. You need a car, you need a house, you need things to be, to, to be well. Speak the truth. For you to get a true car, a true house, a true job, a true business, true everything. Speak the truth. Are we clear? Speak what? Speak what? Speak the truth. Speak what? Speak the truth. So I love you, Jesus. Speak there, the truth. Speak there, the truth. So I love you, Jesus. So there's someone you are being attacked on your finger ring because it will be itchy and painful. On your finger ring. On your finger ring. Bring it. It will be itchy and painful. It will be itchy and painful. And there's someone again, she's not the only one. It's itchy and painful and sometimes you can feel it. It's like you are dreaming. It's like you're not dreaming, but your finger ring is moving. It's like somebody's busy fiddling with it. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it quickly. She's not the only one. Bring them, bring them, bring them. It's an attack in the spirit. Bring them, bring them, bring them, bring them. It's a finger ring. They're not the only one. I want that one, that side as well. Bring them. It's an attack. It's in the spirit now. It's a finger ring. So I'm saying you're not going to be married by an opposite force. Let the Christ marry you today. You're not going to be married by an opposite force. Do we love Jesus Christ? Please bring him quickly. Celebrate so Jesus. Celebrate so Jesus. Celebrate so Jesus. So I'm blessed above all. So when God deals with this, know that the marriage has to be of the lamb and the bride. No other force. Are we clear? No other? No other force. No other force. I command the spirit to live in now. Check your finger, how do you feel? Right. Huh? Right. 
Right, ne? You are free. The marriage is of Christ. You're not going to be married by an opposite force. And some of the people, you've, you begin to think that it's just normal pain. It's just like this. But now the spirit reveals that it's another force. But now we deal with that force. After this, all is well with the relationship. All is well with the relationship with Christ. It's not just deliverance for relationships. But it's all about oneness from above. If it's the Christ who marries, the separation, division, separating you from that evil force. So the deliverance must be even for the whole family, ne? for the whole family, not for them only, for the whole family. Deliverance for them and the whole family. by the city. You're crushed by the city. So everybody suffering relationship just know today is the day that the Lord has made. You are receiving a new ring from above. A new ring from above. Kalulu lonely today. You're no longer going to suffer from loneliness. Ne? In Jesus' name. Stand up. Stand up. God loves it. How do you feel now? Huh? Feeling this side. Ooh. 
No. It's no more. Let's live for Jesus. married you're gonna have a new woman today no? a woman in the newness of life How do you feel now? It's gone now. Yes. Don't feel it. Let's live for Jesus. How do you feel, Mom? says that she's not feeling pain anymore on her finger ring. Uh 
How is it now? How's the pain? Thank you. How are you doing? It's over. Let's look for you. The pain is gone. How's it now? I go to next. Nothing at all. We are free. Let's love for Jesus. Our brother is saying that he's not feeling pain as well on his ring finger anymore after our father ministered upon him. Let's now clap our hands for Jesus Christ. Huh? It was itching the whole week. And now? I can't feel anything. You can't feel anything. God is with you. Stand up. You also have to confess, ne? You also have to confess. Okay? You understand the whole thing, ne? So your completeness, lock yourself out. Let's go for Jesus. You also have to confess. How's the pain? It's gone. Huh? It's gone. You're free.
So anybody suffering from relationships, if you are married in the spirit, we separate you, get married with Christ. Amen. Only get married with, with the Christ. It's fine. It's fine. It's gone. Eh? Mm. Let's live for Jesus. You're free. Mm. So love you, Jesus. There are marriages in the spirit, but when God separates you, follow Christ. Amen. Amen. Follow who? Follow Christ. So love you, Jesus. So love you, Jesus. So love you, Jesus. Last week I spoke about prisoners, and then there's this one. You, it's like you're attacked, it's your kidneys. It's your kidneys and it causes like stomach pains. Stomach pains, like diarrhea. I spoke about prisoners, but now there's a challenge that you come across, but she's not the only one. The other one I'm talking about, a prisoner, I spoke about kidneys, I also spoke about stomach pains, like diarrhea. It's like diarrhea, she's not the only one. Um, the one I'm talking about, it affected even your head. It's like you don't think well. Your dreams were affected. Your dreams were affected. Your dreams were affected. Bring him as well. So immediately after this, when I declared to be such a prisoner, concentrate on the word, meditate on what you were taught. You know? And this thing, it, listen, the only way for us, not for evil to play next to us, just sink in the word. Make sure when you're immense in it, remain in it. Because the word cleanses, it repels everything that is wrong. Say love with Jesus. Say love with Jesus. Stand up. Stand up. How's the pain now? How's the pain? How's the pain? He go on. He go on. He's up for her. 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 He's She's saying that the pain she was feeling is normal. So I'm saying the most important thing, meditate on the word that you receive. Don't take it lightly. Don't be taught and just go home. This is food that you take home. 
Meditate upon it every day. Learn every day. And you know, when you read just one sentence of the Bible, a special anointing falls on you. Are we going somewhere? A special anointing falls on you. Many people think anointing comes when they read Acts chapter 2. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Simple Galatians chapter 5 from verse 16. Live and walk habitually by the Spirit. You get it? You get it? Huh? The fruits of the Spirit are against the fruits of sinful nature. Sinful nature. So that you must not do what you want to do. It's an anointing falling on you. So that you do, you do not do what you want to do. When that happens, what you want to do, you can't do it. You only do what God wants you to do. So you meditate more about that. Then it won't be easy for you to do what you want to do. Then it fulfills John chapter 21. When you are young, you dress yourself and you go where you want to go. But when you are matured, someone dresses you and he takes you where you do not want to go. That's Jesus. Let him take you where you do not want to go. Are we clear? So when you go where you want to go, it's easy to get these things to come against you. So any scripture, read. Meditate upon it. It's a special spirit. How's the pain now? Huh? I, I think. It's gone. Mm. Let's live for Jesus. For how long? For presents from last week, the first doctor said kidney infections, then the scan said gallstones. Now they said I need to go for surgery. Don't worry, you need to go for surgery. Yeah, not to worry, God is with you. Safe spiritual operation. Safe spiritual operation. Safe spiritual operation. Now? No? No? Yeah. Yeah. Receive spiritual operation. Receive spiritual operation. Receive spiritual operation. Be operated. Be operated. Receive spiritual operation. Whatever it is, Lana, at your melt. Yeah. She was saying that she feels like that pain is melting. Oh, how's the pain? The pain is gone, but that lump, I still feel it. Yeah, and the pain my is gone. The pain is gone.
Check the lump. What's the lump between now? It's dissolving. It's dissolving. Yeah, check. Feeling pain, mang pressing up. Manje? Manje, uh -uh, I'm not feeling the pain, but lana mang pressa the lamp, there is the pain. Right here, right here. Do you feel the pain when you're not pressing? When you're not pressing? When I'm not pressing, uh, uh, can I stand? Because I, I couldn't yeah, stand. Wait, no, relax. You couldn't stand. I would stand, I'd feel the pain. Couldn't stand. Mm. Couldn't stand it like that. Yeah. Let's clap for Jesus. Okay, now I'm standing right up. You couldn't stand right up like this. Yeah, it will be very painful. She's my wife. Huh? She's my wife. She had been diagnosed with cancer of the liver. So they say this that lump. And she was supposed to be admitted in hospital yesterday. Then we refused to go to the hospital. So she couldn't stand like this? She, she couldn't do anything like she couldn't bend or touch herself on the sides. Or when she sleeps, she only sleeps one way. Facing she couldn't. Up. Let's live for Jesus. You're comfortable? Yes. Let's live for Jesus. God is with you. I'll, I'll, see, I'll see both of you. Né? Let's live for Jesus. So any sickness that is in, God is able to expose it. Né? So we cancel surgeries, we cancel any chronic disease, we see God is taking over.
How's the pain? It's fine, Papa. It's gone now. But by this pain, every time when I have to pray or read the Bible, it comes this. Yeah, it's, it's gone now. Go read the Bible and pray. It's gone. Yes, Let's live for Jesus. So, in any sickness that needs operation, any sickness that needs or chronic medication, I'm seeing right now, I declare, let this go completely in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let this go completely in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm still going back to those that are called and I said prisoners. I want you to concentrate on the word. That's what covers you. That's what protects you. God said, I send forth my word to heal your diseases. So if you are covered with the word and meditate upon it, it also fights for you. It also fights for you. Are we clear? The word washes, and then he presents you to himself without spot, without wrinkles. Some of the people are repeats because of one thing, they don't meditate. Go meditate upon the word. Are we clear? Meditate upon it. Let it be Look, you are eating every day breakfast, lunch, supper. What about your soul? Your word is food. The word that God gives you is food from above. So feed your soul so that whatever comes cannot affect the soul. Are we clear? So go for it. God is with you. To God be the glory. Thank you, my lions. Thank you, my lions. To God be the glory. Back to your seats. So Meditate upon it. That's why I'm saying just one sentence becomes an anointing. Are we clear? Are we clear? Even when you read the Old Testament, read it with a stripe. When the sword came, meditate. Let it be of the Spirit. Let it be of what? Of the? Of the Spirit. So if of the Spirit, it's the way. It fights. It fights for you. Are we clear? It fights for you. So that's why I'm saying meditate upon it. It's, 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 it repels everything that is against you. Are we clear? Do we love Jesus Christ? So that's why I'm talking about grace. Some of the people, there's no need for you to wait for a man of God to pray for you. Once you're at home, you see yourself vomiting, demons manifested, because you are using the same word. Are we clear? You are using the same, the same word. Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love Jesus Christ? So, I declare no one will go for operation. I finish that in the name of Jesus. I finished with all of you. Offense. All your weapons are destroyed.
those who talk, we keep on announcing, speak louder. If I don't hear you, I'm going to pass, ne? And be specific. If you're not specific, we pass, ne? Don't whisper. People are whispering here. But when they propose a girl, they speak loud so that you can hear. So people speak very low. I'm going to pass. Spiritual wife. Evil spiritual wife. God is with you, your friend.
happen okay i'm going to court on the 10th of october they summoned me so they want to evict me where i stay when you go to court anoint yourself ne? yeah anoint yourself when you go to court court is with you we'll bring your testimony Kala sa tami ke sone. Kale.
How's the pain now? It's okay. Huh? I'm feeling okay. You're feeling okay. My wife. <coughs> Your evil husband, spiritual wife, spiritual husband. In Jesus' name. Stand up. How's the pain now? I'm feeling okay. Huh? It's okay. The pain is gone. The pain is gone. Bless you. How's the pain? I guess I will. Our brother here is smoking heroin and he came for assistance from our father and indeed our father is now ministering to him through the exceeding greatness of the power of God. You can go test. God is with you. God loves you.
still let me go and test him. When you talk to the doctor, you tell the doctor there's a heart problem. You say, heart problem. You're not proposing anyone. Please. Please, let's speak louder. If it, I don't hear you, I'm going to pass. On a serious note, I'm going to pass. We just tested our brother here. Now he's saying the cigarette is tasteless. You said for how long were you smoking? Four years. Four years? Yes. It's four it years. Was, Good it was supposed to cause me stomach cramp the cigarette, but it doesn't. It doesn't, no? Yeah. Give him now. You smoke again now. Young uh, calm. <coughs> <coughs> it's choking me. Try for the last time. <coughs> Let's live for Jesus. You're free. God is with you. He's been addicted to smoking heroin for five years. He was just ministered to through the exceeding greatness of the power of God. And right now he's been tested with the same cigarette he, was, he used to smoke. And now he says that it's choking him. Now he got his deliverance, deliverance from Jesus Christ. Shall we now clap our hands for him? Hallelujah. Huh? 
cigarette. And our brother here is smoking cigarette and he is asking for assistance from our father. And indeed, our father is now ministering to him through the exceeding greatness of the power of God. You can go test, ne? So that the room of God is with you, eh? God is with you, eh? God is with you. I want you to use this. Let him drink one now and also let him go to the room. God is with you, eh? God is with you. Our mother was saying that uh, our brother here ran from the initiation school. He says that he wants to quit. And indeed, now Jesus Christ is ministering to him our, through our father, uh, through the exceeding greatness of the power of God. Let's clap our hands for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah.